This is crazy. For the past two summer seasons, I have worked as a raft guide on the middle fork of the Flathead River, which creates the southern boundary of Glacier National Park. The Common Whitewater Stretch is a nine mile section from Moccasin Creek River access to the town of West Glacier. However, the middle fork of the Flathead stretches for 92 miles, starting above Schaefer Meadows. The first 30 miles of the river are only accessible by bush plane or hiking, and it was a section of river I only dreamed about rafting until July of 2022. Okay, so the plan for tomorrow came around very quickly. I knew about it about two, maybe three days ago when Michael texted me. The plan is to float the upper section of the river, which normally is only accessible either by a bush plane, which is the easiest way, or by hiking. Uh, and we're gonna try and run that tomorrow. And the guys, looks like they're in here packing right now. We're starting out early, Chris. Alright, that's not terrible. That's not too bad there, Oz. Yeah. But that'll be okay. Are you rolling? Not quite it. Not quite. Who's putting a nine on This is money. Okay, so all those guys got their bags tap, like tucked in, ready to kind of rock and roll. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's just gonna be an awesome trip. So Dahl and I here, we're rocking this Mini Max. It's 70 pounds, is that right? 70 something pounds? 70 pounds, I didn't realize that. More than we should be, more weight than we should be carrying. Yeah, well maybe for you, but I can carry, I can carry uh, 100 something pounds. All right, here we go, coming up. And sweet. That thing went down to that. It's heavier than the backpack I've ever seen. Okay. So, something else that we did. What the heck? Okay. Thank you. Yep. Alright, it's the first test run. It's definitely gonna be comfortable with what I, than what I had. Going on yesterday. Is it heavy? Yeah, I can run a marathon with this. <laughs> How's it feel for real though? Are there like straps? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a there's pretty a, freaking heavy, but pretty good. Huh? Doable for 11 miles? Yeah, doable. <sighs> this is so fun. <laughs> So I just got up, it's uh, 4.30. Yeah, I thought I'm gonna start packing some gear here. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up? Time to go. <laughs> 
With group trips, it has to be said that half the adventure comes from the people that you're doing it with and not just from the views and the miles that you do. See y'all at Bear Creek. West Glacier to Bear Creek River access is about a 40 minute drive. And we picked the most magnificent morning to do it on. After Bear Creek, access in the Middle Fork can no longer be done by boat ramps or roads, as the Middle Fork of the Flathead juts southward, while Montana Highway 2 continues northeast around Glacier National Park. I think we're going to park right in front of the trailhead. Um, do you guys realize how insane we look? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it's not. Are you insane? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you mention it. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> Every time I do like anything out here this year, I keep saying this is like one of the coolest things I've ever done. <laughs> we'll have to keep that trend going. Of... I feel like a customer when they're like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't is really supposed panic. to be this tight? <laughs> <laughs> this is really tight. Just putting on this backpack for a minute makes me realizing, yeah, hiking with a backpack sucks. <laughs> yeah. Why would you ever just not bow? Super weird. I'm wearing my rafting helmet hiking. Got the backpack on. And I got the PFT. As with every trip, there are highs and lows. The metaphor was not lost on me that as we traveled down the trail towards the river, we also traveled down physically and mentally. Absolutely. The problem that Dawn and I have is our boat is the freaking heaviest. But the victory that Dawn and I have in that, we're gonna have the big the biggest boat on the river and it's gonna be a ton of fun that's uh trail gets rocky here so just be careful all right buddy i'm i need some space yeah you do There's a little spot down there. So that there, that's Morrison Creek down there. That's the name of the creek that this trail right here is named after. All right. Oh, it feels so like off balance now. Though we traded packs often, the weight of the boat that Andrew and I were carrying was slowly going to break us down. We were doing everything we could to take care of ourselves, but there's really only so much that you can do with a 70 pound Pringles can on your back. Doing good? Yep. Hold on. <laughs> cool. All 
ready. Yeah. Carrying a Mini Max is hard. It ain't no myth. Thanks. Sucks. Let me uh, just just help me out first. Yeah, yeah. How much weight is that on your back, Cash? How much weight is this? Yeah. Weight. At least three or four pounds. Seventy <laughs> within. It's gotten hard. For sure, we're on. We're struggling. We're like, like ten miles in, and we're struggling for sure. Um, I'm tired. I think everybody else is too. Doll's got the mini back on, so looking. But then you see something like this. And it kind of puts things in perspective. No way. Dude, let's go. Let's do it. See that river. <laughs> First glimpse of the river. It's nuts. Holy shit, it's good. Does it feel like home path? Uh, far. <laughs> far from it, but um, it's definitely where I want to be. Chris having the time of his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Whoa. First switch back of the trail. <laughs> oh yeah Let's go, dude. Oh my goodness. What happened, Chris? Broke another strap. Both both shoulders? Uh, no, it was just the other shoulder. The contact point I had it too broke. Goodness gracious. And then standing back up was not. You! Oh my goodness, Yo. dude. Oh yeah. Ah! Yep. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I think in life you got a, a set of dreams that, or I would say you got categories of dreams in life some big and some small the big ones are the ones that you think about all the time that you go to sleep thinking about and you wake up thinking about let's roll it down there down into the river while it's flat <laughs> and the small ones are the ones that kind of sneak up on you and that's what that's what this trip was right oh that's recording all right i think dar and i are ready
last year I didn't take advantage of all the opportunities that Montana had to offer, but this year, that small dream of being able to go to the upper section of the river, the one that kind of snuck up on me, it left my mind, but always came back around. <laughs> that's the one that, um, that's the one that we, we got to live. We got to live that dream. Good job you guys right here. Though this moment is definitely quite awkward and a bit uncoordinated, it was still a beautiful moment for me. Pushing that boat off from that point that we hiked to was more than just running a new section of the middle fork for me. It opened my eyes to the fact that journeys and adventures are really right around the corner. I used to think that making it to this section of the river could only be done by a $500 plane ticket, which I would have never done. Yeah, baby. So with that in mind, I wrote this section of the river off as something that I would never go and see, something I would never go and do. And what a shame it would have been if I kept that mindset. This is the closest thing to heaven on earth I've ever seen. It's insane, it's so untouched. Trees and rocks and water. It's so crazy, I can't even believe it. I can't even put it into words. Finally be here. That, it's know? crazy that this like exists. It's just amazing, you know. Like I never thought I'd be I never thought I'd be here. Really? Never. Never thought I'd make it up here. It's amazing. <laughs> here I am. Here I is. <laughs> oh, my. oh yeah, dude. I'm, I'm enjoying it like like great. Take it all in man. That was just, um, take it all in for sure. Take it all in. Though we had already hiked 12 miles, we still had more work to do. We had to make it back to our shuttle car, which we left at Bear Creek, which meant that we had another 20 miles of rafting left to do for the day. Left now. More left. Bump off that rock. Cool. Hard right, hard right. Run left right here between these two. Yep, good. Cool. Woo. Spin. Spin. Back. Back. Cool. No way. No. 
Did that in the mini and they got, <laughs> oh God, they got stuck on the ducks. Michael just swam. Michael just swam hard. We need to go right behind that rock and tuck in behind it really hard to the right. Hard right now. Go. Tee up when we drop this, all right? Tee up. Drop it. Boom. Harder right. Harder right. Harder right. Watch bump. And paddle. Tee up. Good. Woo! Oh, tail around the meat on that one. All right, this looks like it might be the real deal. That's a boat flipper right there, baby. Yeah. She's a big one. Watch out. All right, looks like we got a big drop everywhere here. Oh. All right, stay in the boat. This is the drop you need to stay in. It's on right there. Nope, nope, we gotta go right. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Oz, too, Oz, too. Oz is swimming that hole. Yep, yep. Yeah! You good, Oz? Nice, dude. Held on to the paddle. That was sick. Holy crap. Hey, sorry for cussing at you. <laughs> So this is the river that I raft on. It's the river that we, uh, that I guide on. It's the river that we floated the upper section of yesterday. Um, it's the middle fork. I think I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that whole trip was about. Um, Cause I'm not quite sure if I know We were talking yesterday in the car and we said that um, <laughs> we'd almost be fools to not go up there and run that section just because it's there. You know, it's it's possible. You know, I look at this water and I see it and it's like, man, like I've ran, I've ran this river a lot. Probably thought like a thousand miles or, or maybe even 2000 or more. And it was just different being up there. Um, there was that bend back there at Bear Creek and I never thought I would ever see past that bend what was up there. I knew that the only the only ticket that I knew of to get back there was a $500 one for a bush plane. And then you'd have to have all the gear and pack all that stuff too, but it's amazing that it that it was able to be done in a day. Something that I thought was so unreachable was just right it was it was really just right around the corner. And I guess that's the point of it all. You know, we have we have adventure waiting on our on our doorstep and 
it's possible to get out there. You probably even have what you need to go and do something that you think you couldn't do. And, and there we were yesterday, we found ourselves floating a section of river that, I don't know, a few people, a few people do what we did yesterday. Very few. Um, I don't think anyone carried a mini max like we did that 12 miles. So, yeah, it's just right around the corner. You just gotta, you just gotta take what you have and go see if you can do it. Ozzy's got the best crow call in the world. It's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> 